Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, my name is Joel. I'm an analyst in Singapore. In this video, I will share the steps to set up your system environment for SAP GUI scripting and some tips for debugging your SAP script if you are just getting started with Excel VBA. First, we need to ensure that the scripting is enabled in SAP settings. To do that, click on the last icon of the status bar, then click on Options. Look for Accessibility and Scripting, then Scripting. Make sure the Enable Scripting option is ticked and make sure both options for notification is unticked to ensure SAP script can be ran without any notification prompt. Next, in the same options menu, click on Security, then Security Settings. Click on Open Security Configuration. Under Default Action, Choose Allow to make sure SAP scripts had less chance of encountering an unexpected pop-up to request for permission. There are usually multiple spreadsheet formats that you can choose from when you are trying to export a table. To access the options available, right-click anywhere on the table and click on Spreadsheet. If you are not given the option to select the format when using the shortcut on the toolbar, it is probably you have always used selected format ticked. For me, I will usually use the XLSX format as it takes into account your layout and filters that are in place. Feel free to try out other formats to see which suits your requirements better. Let us move on to Excel. For Excel, first thing is to make sure you are able to locate the Developer tab on your ribbon. If it is not there, click on Files, Options, then customize ribbon. Make sure the developer line here is ticked. Once this option is ticked, you should be able to see the developer tab appear in your ribbon. And this will allow you to access the Visual Basic Editor. In Visual Basic Editor, we need to enable the SAP GUI scripting API. To enable that, click on Tools, then References. If you are not able to find SAP GUI scripting API in the list, Click on Browse. Navigate to the following path. Make sure to change the file type on the bottom right to ActiveX Control. After that, search for sapfewse.ocx. Click on Open and you will see SAP GUI scripting API appear in the list. Next. Let us look at some tips to debug your SAP script if you are just getting started with Excel VBA. It is extremely helpful if you are able to run your script line by line so that you can see the changes right after each line is executed. To do that, we shall be using the Step In Tool option. The shortcut for this is F8. Every time you press F8, you can see a line is being highlighted in yellow. Once you press the shortcut F8 again, it will execute the highlighted script line and pause on the next line until you press F8 again. The next item that is very helpful for me when I'm developing my SAP script is the watch window. If you are not able to find the watch window in your Visual Basic Editor, click on View and look for a watch window. With the watch window, I will be able to check and keep track of the variable's values that is being used within the sub-procedure. You can simply just highlight the variable and drag it into the watch window to view its value. Also, I will be able to see clearly what are the properties available for each of the SAP GUI elements. Each SAP GUI element's properties can be changed accordingly with the script by referencing it with the element followed by a dot sign and its properties name. Once we execute the line to input our selected country, you can see that CA has been passed into the text property of the element. And in SAP, our input is also reflected in the SAP GUI itself. Another tip when debugging SAP script is the breakpoint. Breakpoint can be triggered just by clicking on the side of the Visual Basic Editor. Once triggered, you can see a red dot appear right beside the line. This would mean whenever you run the sub-procedure, the debugger will pause before executing the line highlighted in red. This is extremely helpful when you only need to debug a small portion of the code to resolve an issue. 
but would need to take a long time to reach that portion if you run the code line by line from the beginning. Right after the pause, you just need to press F8 again to check the script line by line subsequent to the breakpoint to resolve a bug. These are the tips that I find extremely helpful when I first started with SAP GUI scripting. If you enjoyed this content, please give me a thumbs up. It always reaffirm that the content that I'm producing is valuable. That's all I have. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you in the next video.